So hello everyone and welcome. It turns out Christmas came early and the Christmas spirit brought us an amazing present in the form of the most broken formations in the entire game. So right now in the mirrors shop for about 50 uh, mirrors coins, mirror coins each, I would actually call it mirrors coins, um, you get the three light tercios as well as the three dark tercios, each of them typed after forest flame and aqua. So you combine, you can combine light with forest flame aqua or dark with forest flame aqua. Now what exactly makes these formations so incredibly broken? So I'm just gonna head into mirrors right now and we're gonna check out what the Light Tercio does because I bought the Light Tercio for Aqua. And I'm just gonna stick them on my team very quickly. And we're gonna just take a look for all the formations, see what they do just very quickly. So we see the Brave Echelon, it gives 10% attack and 10% defense for whoever's standing in the middle. Bright Phalanx makes you die very quickly, don't use it. You have the Attribute Delta, which gives 15% attack to light units standing in the three corners, which of course has the problem that if you put two light units in the back, they're gonna get hit by Blast Cleaves, and you can't really put anyone else on these, because whoever else you put in the center two tiles, they're just gonna get absolutely destroyed by Blast as well. So this is a sort of high risk, high reward uh, Attribute Delta. Um, you can also just use two units. If you just use two units, you can make it so they don't get hit by uh, Blast Bot at the same time, which is why this is probably the most used uh, formation for two units at the same time. But what about the Light Tercio? So you see the Light Tercio has these tiles right here. 10% attack, 15% defense for light. If you have the Dark Tercio, it's actually different. It's 15% attack and 10% defense. So the Dark Tercio is actually uh, gives the dark unit more attack, or the light unit, or the light one gives the light unit more defense. But also the other element that you have on this, the weak element, gets 25% attack. 25%, which is quite a lot, I would say, especially when in the damage calculation, this damage bonus gets applied at the end of the entire calculation. Basically what this means, if you have multiple memoria that say like 20% attack up, like if you have like friends or whatever and then another memoria that also says 20% attack up, um, you, in, you in, in total get 40%, so they stack additively, right? All memoria stack additively with each other. But this goes at the end of that, so you have the 40% and then another uh, times, multiplied times the 1.25, so it's actually even stronger than just putting another friend's memoria on your team. It's even stronger than that because it gets applied at the end, which is absolutely absurd, by the way. But also, this is also very good from a gameplay perspective, a uh, game designer's perspective, rather, because we all know that light and dark are the most powerful elements in the game because the thing is on uh, the Japanese server or just in general the most powerful units in the game are all light units all the ultimate units are all light units which means that light is the best element in the game but the thing is dark counters light so dark is the best element in the game uh, but the thing is because dark is the best element of the game, light counters dark so light is actually the best element in the game and you can kind of see how light and dark are pretty good and they Basically the entire meta just revolves around light and dark countering each other all the time. That's how the entire mirrors meta works right now on JP. Um, the other three elements don't really do much because all the other elements have a one-sided weakness. So you can say, oh, I'm gonna put a Yachu on my team. Amazing. And then suddenly the enemy has a Holy Alina and your entire team just dies. So that's bad. So why, why would you put an, a unit on your team that has a one-sided weakness if instead you can just put a really strong light unit and the light unit kills everything? And the light unit has no one-sided counter. I mean, like, yeah, dark counters it kind of, but you also counter dark. So since you go first, you just kill the dark unit. Nice. So... The problem always becomes, why would you roll for a unit of fire, aqua or forest if light exists and if dark exists? And the, the answer to that is now you have the tercios. That's basically why I like the tercios so much, because now you actually have a reason to get all these other elements, even though usually they're really bad and no one cares for them, but now people actually do care for them. You also noticed that earlier with the attribute delta we had the problem that, oh no, if we take three people and put them on these three corners, two of them are gonna get hit by blasts, but look at the tercio. They, the three are in diagonal, they're not gonna get hit by the same blasts. So if you have just three Megoka and you put them in here, they're not gonna get cleaved, which is something that happens on all of these other formations that exist as well, which is amazing. So not only are you getting a ridiculous attack boost, you also don't have to worry about your guys getting cleaved. 
It's actually insane. So I'm gonna do a quick team match here. Don't ignore this, by the way. A free to play, by the way. Um, by the way, as a little addendum before the video continues, probably people will be wondering: Is this better than Brave Echelon in most cases? And I'll say yes. In 99% of cases, the Tercios are better than the regular Brave Echelon. So I don't want to see anyone running out of Brave Echelon anymore since this exists now. Look at this. Look at it this way. You might be thinking to yourself, well, the four people down there, they're gonna get hit by blasts. If you actually put four people down there, all this, they're gonna get hit by blasts. They're, but the thing is, they're gonna get hit by the exact same amount of blasts as people in Brave Echelon. In Brave Echelon, the four outer corners, if they are full of Megoka, if one blast attack hits these, they will always have two of them get hit. And there's always a vertical and a horizontal that will both hit the same. So, for example, the bottom two here get hit by a horizontal and the right two will get hit by a vertical and the bottom one will get hit twice. The exact same dynamic happens here. Like this, this board has the exact same blast dynamics as Brave Echelon has. It looks weird because they're a lot closer together than they are in Brave Echelon but they still get hit by the exact same amount of blasts as Brave Echelon does. So it's not worse than Brave Echelon in the case of getting hit by a blast. It's exactly the same, actually. However, the potential buffs that you get from Light Tercio are so incredibly much more powerful than anything from Brave Echelon. If you have a Light unit, get Light Tercio, or rather, put it this way, Right now, look at your Brave Echelon that you have in Mirrors or anywhere else, and look at your center unit. Is this a light unit? Put it on Light Tercio up there, there you go, you're already more powerful than ever before. Is this a Dark unit? Put it on Dark Tercio up there, you're already more powerful, because these buffs in the corner are better than the ones here in the middle. Is this either a Fire, Aqua or Forest unit? Just put it on the Tercio down here. Now granted, they're gonna get hit by more blasts, but now they actually kill everyone in like two hits. So one way or another, these Tercios are just better than Brave Echelon. So everyone grab Tercio. Even if you don't have units that fit into this very well, just get it. Just get it, it's better than Brave Echelon. Continue with the video. I'm gonna put this right here. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're gonna get Put over by where's my nana account? So this is this is a team that you're gonna look uh, gonna see quite often. Probably um, either this or a strong dark attacker. You're just gonna have a good uh, strong light or dark unit with four slots. Probably a tart. Probably a Madokami once she happens, and then maybe something like this. Uh, once Nanaka gets uncapped. By the way, in case you don't know, Nanaka is probably the strongest non-natural four star in the entire game. Uh, she's the strongest two star, three star in the entire game. Uh, she doesn't have an uncapped yet, but she's gonna get one in a few months. And once she does, everyone's gonna run her because she's actually broken. Um, so you're gonna see teams like this a lot. I'm not gonna waste my time going through the Memoria. But the thing is, what is this actually gonna do to the, do them, do to the meta? Well, like I said, you're gonna see teams like this a lot, but if people are gonna put a lot of effort into having really strong attackers of these three elements, we're gonna go back to the times where you had three elements countering each other. You're gonna have a forest element countering this team right here. Uh, for example, you're gonna have Mami, Holy Mami, uh, Alina, Holy Alina, especially Holy Alina when she drops in like a, a week or so from now. Um, she's gonna destroy this team right here. But then you also have suddenly Kyoko coming in and Kyoko is like, I can fight again because I'm not being hard countered by Yachiyo anymore. I mean, she is getting hard countered by Yachiyo, but the thing is now that now that Holy Alina exists and Holy Alina is probably the strongest force in the entire game, people are gonna use Holy Alina because she's so strong and she's Blast Gorilla. So people go, Holy Alina goes blessed, and now Kyoko goes blessed, and then you will just have three types of teams go repeatedly countering each other, which I like personally more than just having one type of team that counters itself. Like, I can show you right now, I actually have a second window right here, this is my Japanese account. I'm just gonna take a look at what sort of teams we have on Japanese side. Oh, look at that. It's a Brave Echelon with three light units, and we have Madokami, we have Iroyachi, and we have uh, Tart, of course. Oh, look, what else do we have? Oh, we have a two-people team uh, with just one in the center, one off the side. If you have a team like this, and you put this team on uh, the light Tercio Fire, this team suddenly be like doubles in effective strength, basically. What else do we have? Oh, look, we have more Madokami, Iroyachi, and then some other attackers. This is actually another formation that J Japanese have where these three corners are buffed. But the thing is, look at that. The front is buffed, but I can just blast them all instantly and they're all dead. 
amazing. The light turret here doesn't have to worry about that. I'm gonna do a live refresh and see if I can show some other cool stuff. Oh, look at that. Would you would you have a ever expected to see something like this? I didn't because this is only the most popular or the second most popular team on the entire JP server. Oh look, even more of this. Who would have guessed this? Oh no, even with this is right here is the most popular team on the entire JP server. This is not staged because you just saw me refresh the game, uh, refresh the list, and I'm just literally getting exactly what to, you would expect from the JP server. A lot of light units, a lot of ultimate light units, and maybe some other really strong attackers, maybe like a Tart or a Dark, or, or maybe something like a Cool Mutter somewhere in the, li in the mix as well, and they're all on Brave Echelon or the Attribute Delta for Light. They're either on Attribute Delta Light or they're on the Brave Echelon. But here's the thing, you can just run the Element Tercio and just do so incredibly much damage that you just completely blow everyone up. I'm just gonna very, I'm just gonna, gonna like I'm pretty much done with my explanation on why the Tercio is so incredibly broken. But I'm just gonna quickly see how much attack bonus I can actually stack on top of my Yachio and then we're gonna go into a Mirrors um, give me a friends. Okay, Blanc, give me... Uh, this is not good enough. Don't I have a good Bible? Where's my Bible? No one has a Bible equipped anymore because I just unequipped it. Eh, this... I don't know which one of these is better. Let's probably read this one better. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this and I'm just gonna throw everyone else out. And I'm just gonna go in solo or Yachio, and I'm just gonna. I'm just, I just wanna see about how much damage we're actually doing with this. She only has 12,000 attack because these Memorials are not a little bit broken or anything, they're very basic. Um, but I just wanna see how hard this hits, okay? Um, can I get a team that isn't like super strong? Um, ba -ba -da -bum. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here, and we're just gonna. I'm just gonna see how much damage I can do. It probably isn't. It, I, I can tell you right now, it's probably not gonna look like a lot because. She, like all the, those memorials are not ML, they're not maximum limit break, so I'm, miss, I'm missing at least like 10% uh, damage from limit break in my memorials, and I'm missing like another 10% damage just having higher stats in the memorials. So I'm already like 20% damage down from what this could be. But even even considering we're like 20% damage down from what we could be if we just had better memoria, let's just see how much damage we actually do, okay? I think that's pretty good. Like, put another 20% on top of that. Put another 20% on top of that if I had good Memoria. I mean, I'm dead right now because this is, they're actually pretty strong. This is actually a pretty good team. But did, imagine if I did 20% more damage than that. With just a solo Yachio. I almost killed a higher team than mine with just a solo Yachio because I just do so much damage. This is this is actually pretty insane damage. Oh, I probably could shot this team right here. Um, but yeah, this is this team is... This team is not a joke. This team is actually pretty insane. I mean, this formation. Um, probably leave this alive. Mm, break swords if they have swords. I actually, I actually do have a sword in the dark. I could have used the sword. Uh, a sword that strikes in the space between light and dark. I actually have that one. I could have used that. So I broke everyone's swords in case they have swords. Um, by the way, if you, this is a little tip, this is not part of the video anymore, the videos are gonna end in like less than a minute, but if you ever play Mirrors and you don't know what to do, a good tip is to not actually kill everyone, anyone. Leave everyone alive as much as you can, because that way they're gonna get absolutely no Puella combos whatsoever. They get no Puella combos, they get no, uh, uh, no connects off on turn two, they get nothing. They also have weak characters still being alive, draining cards of uh, discs of the strong characters. Like the weak characters are getting discs instead of the strong characters. Yeah, leave everyone alive. And also, by doing it like this, if they have the sword which strikes in space between light and dark, also known as a sword in the dark, I think it's called in uh, NA, um, they lose that bonus from not being full HP anymore. So that's a really good strategy. But yeah, this, this is. This is. This formation is. Uh, it's maybe a bit broken. Just a little bit broken, this formation. Just a little bit broken. Like I said, I'm even missing 20% damage from just not having good memoria equipped, so... Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> if you like this, remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and... Uh, see you guys next time. Oh, look, it's Fade, I like Fade.